In this video, we're going to be talking about the types of blood vessels and their functions. A blood vessel is basically a tube filled with blood, and the blood either carries uh, nutrients like oxygen towards the cells, or carries away carbon dioxide or waste products from the cells and back to the lungs. So there are five types of blood vessels, those being the arteries, arteoles, capillaries, venules, and veins. We're going to look at these pictures and we're going to discuss how it works. So let's try to at least understand what each of the blood type of blood vessels even mean. If we look at arteries, they carry blood away from the heart. Arteries control blood flow in capillaries and help leg regulate the BP or blood pressure. An example you can see is that this red part, it's the oxygenated blood and it carries the blood away from the heart and to the cells. As we see over here in the systematic um, in the systematic circuit or the exchange, this is where um, the arteries, they give the oxygen and other nutrients to the cells and the veins and venules, they take in all the carbon dioxide or waste products that are given by the cells. Veins are deoxygenated blood that is going back to the heart and arteries are basically oxygenated blood from the heart. And just to make it clear, your lungs are the ones that oxygenate the blood, your hearts are the ones that purify the blood, and red bone marrow is the one that creates the red blood cells. Next, we're going to move to the capillaries. They allow the exchange, these very small parts over here, these are capillaries. These are, and the capillaries are connected to arteoles, and that's connected to a single uh, artery. Meanwhile, for veins, they have capillaries, but then they have venules and veins over here. So basically, in, a, in some simple words, these are big tubes that branch into smaller tubes that branch into even more smaller tubes for the exchange of nutrients and waste products. So now, venule. Venule connect capillaries to veins, as we see over here, and veins carry blood towards the heart. Like the deoxygenated blood is going to be carried towards the heart. If we look over here, it's carried towards the heart, like through this path or through this path. <coughs> Now that we've explained the systematic circuit, we're going to move on to the pulmonary circuit. The pulmonary circuit is where all the deoxygenated blood is going to be turned into oxygenated blood. For example, the CO2 will move to the lungs and it'll be turned into O2 and come back to either the heart or the um, systematic circuit where it's again exchanged. A way you can differentiate between veins and arteries is that arteries are located much more deeper in the body than veins. You see these um, tubes over here, these blue tubes? These are the veins, but arteries are located more deeper, hence we cannot see it. So the artery walls are much more, are much more thicker, as shown over here, because of their high blood pressure, because the blood flows with high pressure. Meanwhile, for vein walls, they have um, low pressure, the, the blood pressure is very low, so they have much more thinner walls. So in artery walls, the blood go much more slower, but in vein walls, they go much more faster. Also, fun fact, veins are, the tip are typically the ones that carry the deoxygenated blood, but arteries are the ones that carry the oxygenated blood. However, shown in the pulmonary circuit, it says pulmonary vein. This is the only time a vein will ever carry o rich oxygenated blood. Also, many people think that the veins carry blue blood, but that's not true. It's, our eyes are actually deceiving us to, because of how the light rays are hitting the, um, the veins, it's deceiving our eyes and playing a trick on us. However, in reality, it's, it's still covered with red blood. So typically in vein walls, they have a much more, um, they have a lot more darker red color than compared to the artery walls. Because in vein walls, there are no oxygen, it doesn't create that a very light red color towards it. So it's much more dark red compared to the cherry red in artery walls. So um, in conclusion, the, there are two um, circuits, those being the pulmonary circuit, turning the deoxygenated blood to oxygenated blood, and the systematic circuit, where you're transporting the waste products or nutrients within the cells. Now, there are five types of blood vessels, those being the artery, they carry blood away from the heart, um, arteoles, they control the blood pressure and they're branched into several smaller, thinner parts compared to the arteries. Then we have the capillaries, they're even smaller than the arteoles, and it's very hard to see them, but they're branched all over throughout our tissues. 
Next, we have venules. They're similar like the arter arteries, except they um, carry deoxygenated blood. And the veins carry the blood towards the heart. Venules combine together to form the vein. So the functions of capillaries would typically be um, the cells are the, the carbon dioxide is diffused in the capillaries, which is then sent to the venule, and that is later sent to the veins. And that's how an artery also works, kind of, too. So in conclusion, we have two circuits, the pulmonary circuit and the systematic circuit, and we have five blood vessels that provide an important task towards the um, well-being of our body. Some fun facts before we de we end the video is that um, veins, the blood only flows in one direction because of how small the walls are. Hence, um, it moves around everywhere. And also because of that, 75% of the blood is located in the veins, 10 to 15% is located in the arteries, and the small and a small percent is distributed amongst the venules, the arteoles, and the capillaries. Another fun fact is when doctor when doctors when they draw blood, they draw it from the deoxygenated blood or the veins. And it's much it's very easy since the veins are located on the top and more closer towards the skin than the arteries.